Hey guys, welcome to Pregnancy and Postpartum TV. This week's postpartum workout is a postnatal Pilates workout. We're gonna focus on core healing after pregnancy or diastasis recti healing exercises, but of course we'll target the whole body during the workout. Get clearance from your doctor before starting this or any new exercise routine and watch your core and make sure that you're not getting any coning or doming during any of the moves. You don't need any equipment for this workout except for a mat or a comfortable floor to get down on and some water to keep hydrated. We're going to start laying down on our backs. We can get safely down on our side, lowering down and then rolling over, bringing your heels in. You can roll your shoulders underneath. We can bring our hands to our belly and we'll connect with our breath first. As you inhale, you can relax your stomach and let your tummy expand. And as you exhale, pull your lower belly in and contract. Inhale, relax. Exhale. We can do diaphragmatic breathing here where we're keeping a contraction in our stomach, but we're breathing into our ribs. I'll also link to another video there and in the description box below if you're not sure how to do diaphragmatic breathing. Keeping our belly contract and inhale. Exhale, pulling our belly in. We can also add a Kegel to the inhale, relax. Exhale, pulling in lower belly and Kegel. Good, again, relax. Kegel, pulling in lower belly. One more time. Good. We're going to have the same movement as we do the exercises. So we're going to bring in our lower belly, exhale, and lift up our leg and lower it down again for a toe tap. Exhale, lifting up. Inhale, down. Exhale, pulling in your lower belly, Kegel. Inhale, lower down. I'll let you do a few of these on your own. Good, let's bring up that leg and we will pull in our lower belly and pulse here using your core muscles. Good, releasing down. Let's do that on the other side. Exhale, lift. It should feel tight inside your bony hip protrusion. Inhale release. Bring it up and pulse. Releasing down, good. We can bring our hands back down to the mat now. We're gonna push up into some bridge, engaging your core, pulling in and Kegel on the way up rolling up through our spine just to a straight position here and then curling back down releasing we'll go up and down a few times engaging your core
activating your pelvic floor, pulling in your belly on the way up. We'll come up, stay here. From here, we're going to lift our heels up, release down. Lifting up and down. Last time, release down. Now we're going to open up our knees and use our inner thighs and bring them together again, keeping our body stable. Do two more. Last one, good. Let's pulse here. And releasing, rolling down, good. You can bring your knees into your chest, exhale, rock back and forth. And then we'll roll over onto our side. And you can find a comfortable position here on your side, bringing your knees and your toes together. Pulling in our lower bellies. We'll keep our toes together and open up for clamshell, keeping our hips very stable, not rocking back and forth. Last one here, good. Now we'll take our knee up and then we're gonna turn our leg in and point our toe up and point it out. Knee down and up, good. Keeping your core engaged, moving with resistance. Last one here, good. Let's straighten that leg and we'll do little circles to the front. Again, trying not to let our hips rock here. Let's go the other way to the back. And we'll lift up and down. Last one, good. Now let's cross that leg in front. We're going to flex 
the bottom leg and we'll do little pulses here for inner thigh and our lower leg. other side. Again, remembering to get down safely on your side. Good. Bring your knees and toes together, setting up for clam. Squeezing your glutes. Good. Last one here. And now we'll take our knee, turn it in, and that foot and ankle comes up, core is engaged and pulling in, and turning our leg out. Turning it in and out. Good, and last one. Let's point for little leg circles. Remembering to pull in your lower belly. Little circles the other way. You may have one leg that feels a little bit less coordinated than the other. Good. Let's lift up. Release out. We can bring that top leg up and straighten our lower leg, our inner thigh pulses. Couple more here, lift. Release, lower down. Good. Now we're going to come up, pushing up safely onto all fours. We'll have our shoulders over wrists and hips over knees. Lower belly is pulling in. You can either keep both knees down here, or we can extend one leg back for Pilates push-ups. We're going to keep our elbows in, and so they graze our ribs as we lower down. Pressing up, good. Last one. Good. Now we're going to do rainbow legs so we can bring our foot across and touch. Make the shape of a rainbow engaging our core. Touch on the other side.
Last one. Good, bringing it back up behind. Let's pulse here. Good, release down. Rest for a second, take a breath. And we'll do Pilates push-ups on the other side, either both knees down or you can extend one leg out, bringing your elbows in to your ribs. Lower belly pulling in. Last one, good. And rainbow leg touching. Hips are stable, not moving back and forth. Last one, bringing it up straight behind, pulse here, pulling in your belly. Good, release down. Let's sit back and stretch through our glutes here. Take some deeper breaths. Good. Stretching other side. We'll come back to a comfortable seated position. I hope you enjoyed that postnatal Pilates workout. If you have another 12 minutes, I'm also going to link to a cool down and stretch in the description box below that you can add if you have that extra time. Thanks so much for joining me. If you like that video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments below. And I will keep making postpartum videos every week. So if you like videos like these, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. I also have lots of free resources for moms in the description box below. A postpartum monthly workout plan where you can get a new workout for every day of the month. A complete diastasis recti healing guide on how I healed my four finger diastasis recti gap after my pregnancy. I have a weight loss program that I put together as a registered dietitian and a bariatric educator, as well as a complete guide on how to increase breast milk supply when you're breastfeeding. Thanks so much for joining me again. I'm also going to link to the diastasis recti healing playlist if you wanted to check that out, as well as the whole postpartum yoga and workout playlist. If you want, you can save it and come back to the videos whenever you like.